Welcome back to part two. So the Tokyo Tree Box, October 2020. We have some more stuff. We have the mystery item, which I don't know the name of. That is crumbled. Hmm. I'm assuming it's some sort of caramel brown uh brown sugar. Hmm. I say that because it's got the very crisp and then uh bit there and then it's brown on the outside. And Aniko makes a guest appearance. I did encourage heavily. Very floofy. Yeah. It's definitely what it is because the inside is very, very fibrous. Hi, Nico. And then the outside, when you put it on your tongue, it starts to dissolve, and then you can chew it a bit, and then it has that brown sugar flavoring like that. It was, I think it was, I don't think it was September, it might have been August, but I, that's what we ate. No, she's not to have any. No, she just wants to rub against the, the, the item to down. She wants to be very affectionate. affectionate. Monster gummies. I think secretly she knows. We went over to a friend's house recently, and they have gotten a new kitten. And seeing the new kitten hang out with the new kitten, Tammy has decided that. Oh, that's very berry. Smelling. Anyway, Tammy has uh, decided that, you know, she would like a new kitten now. So. Tammy's been looking into it. Yeah. To be fair, I did have two cats. And then the one that I had, I, I deemed her as mine. It, it was both of ours. But, um, she came down with a really weird disease that couldn't be uh, cured, called FIPS. And so, we had to put her down because she could literally could not eat. There was so much fluid pushing up against her tummy. Yeah. So that was just about two years ago. This yeah. December will be two years. Yeah. So we just said. Yeah, Tam was like, no, I don't want a cat ever again. I'm like, okay, we can just keep me going. Be happy from there. And then, like I said, Tammy saw the kitten. was like, I think I would like I a new I saw cat. the kitten and actually held it. And I made the thing, I made the poor little kitten rumble so hard. But yeah, so. I've been on the hunt. I don't know if I'll have one by the time this part comes out. But. Yeah, Tammy did find one that was. No, you can continue. I'll just talk while you're. The Halloween corn pizza flavor. Tammy had found one that she was really, really interested in, and uh, the guy was talking to her, and it was a done deal. All Tammy had to do was pick it up. And then it finds out the guy that moved. He'd been advertising for our city, but actually had moved. To a very far time away, like, to drive there and back would be almost equivalently two days. It feels like it's just tomato and cheese. Yeah. A little bit of pizza spicing. Yeah. Not like pepperoni or anything like that. Which is like the Italian herbs. Not bad. I'll follow that up with apple pie. I find my only problem with those things is the fact that they just like dissolve so quickly. Yeah. And it's true. Holy. <coughs> just the inside of the bag. That's not even hmm. them outside of their little packaging. Because their packaging is cute, by the way. 
But then Tammy found another person that was actually in town who apparently will actually have kittens ready to be away from their mother roughly around the time that this video actually comes out. And I reached out, but I haven't gotten yeah. a message back. Because we're very picky about the fact that we want a female. Yeah, that definitely... Yeah, you want some of that? Do you just want the wrapper? No? Okay. Well, you can definitely smell it. It definitely comes across as an apple pie. Almost an apple crumble, to be fair. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking blueberry crumble. Yeah. But... It's got that... Well, from the smell. It definitely has the crumble flavor palette. Especially the way that I make crumble. Which is like... Yeah, even tasting it. It kind of has like a berry crumble more than an apple pie. Yeah. It occasionally hits notes of apple pie. But... You know, my crumble is uh, like... Oatmeal granola. Brown sugar. And... And graham cracker. And butter. Thanks for a really good crumble though. Two more items. This is Umaibo Rings Mentai. Sweet. Oh no. Okay. Said so with all these sweet treats, this is definitely not sweet. <laughs> no, it smells very um fishy. Of the sea. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, going to what Hemi was saying is, yeah, he moved away to to the point where it will take us twenty one hours to drive there. Oh, 21 hours to drive back. So like Tammy said, two days. I'm not spending a weekend driving. For a kitten. Because unfortunately... It was cute though. It was. Yeah, they're not that... Despite the smell of them, they're not that potent of um, a fish taste. Very salty though. But yeah, it's um um spoiler esque. We're in Canada in the western part of it. And the person is in the central eastern part of Canada. Yeah, that's a good way of explaining it. This one is the grape soda gummy. Oh. Do you want to just eat this whole thing? Yeah, yeah, we're going to eat it. I'm like, if we if we try and not, it's going to just turn out bad. Very grape sensation-y. Oh yeah, it smells like the candy grape pop. Looks kind of like a little bottle. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. But we are looking at names and stuff like that. I think if we get the one that we're looking at now, the one that will be ready around this time of the video, 
I think uh, we're going to name, what do we have a name for her? Not overly sour. Hmm. Not sour at all. Good flavor, though. Hmm. So, yeah, if this comes to fruition in November, I'll be like this. <laughs> but no, um, like Tammy was saying, uh, the with the original two cats we had, Nico and uh, the other cat Static. Uh, Static used to uh, always hang out with her. Nico always hanged out with me. So you know, we'd be like doing, like watching the movie or whatever. Nico would be in my lap. Static would be in her lap. That's why they were vice versa cats. Well, you know, her cat, my cat, kind of idea. But they were always our cats. It was like, um, 75, 25 kind of idea. Yeah. And Nico has been really trying to, uh, Nico's been trying to warm up to Tammy to be more of like a 60-40 and Tammy's been also trying to push it to be a 60-40. It's just also the fact that Tammy does things that Nico has never been interested in. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Like, the way Tammy sits, I know you can't see it, but my butt is touching the back of the couch. Tammy's got... About this much distance between her and the couch, which is fine. But due to that, her legs are not as. Uh, also, she's got because of her legs being short. She doesn't have a lot of extra room for a cat to sit there, and Nico likes sitting right there, where Stag was more uh, drapey, a drapey cat. Yeah, she literally was just. <laughs> Oh, your lap is somewhat available. I will lay on the space that's available. Yeah. Or Nico wants to lay on the exact spot. So. Little things like that. Or, like, uh, Stag used to be cool with being on her back. Yeah. Holding her like a baby. So Tammy would just, like, sit leaning back like this. And, like, just, like, put her, like, here and, like, just kind of cross her arms. And, like, Stag would sit here. Nico hates that. <clears throat> she's okay with it being, like, if she's, like, sitting on you. Tammy would like have her with the baby. Nico would like nothing to do with that. So it's basically both of them kind of trying to compromise with each other. And that's, you know, hard. And like I said, Tammy's been trying to, um, like, you know, recently look into the new kitten. And if she gets one, basically she can start slowly trying to encourage it to go with her wants and desires. And the cat hopefully will go there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's it. Um, just wanted to bring it up because I, I finished that train of thought because... We have the habit of starting and then not finishing <laughs> the trains of thoughts. Wait a week. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we get one, uh, I'll try to... Ah, oh, it won't be hard. But I'll try to introduce her. We were getting a female cat for sure. Uh, in November. If we don't get one in October, it's fine. Yeah. It's just this is the first time Tammy's actually started wanting one again. Like Tammy had said uh, on Monday when uh, we were at the friend's house, is that she doesn't want to replace Stack. And that's why I think one of her biggest problems had been for quite some time. It's the fact that every time she thought about getting another catch, it felt more like replacing Static rather than having a new member of the family. Yeah. And now it's starting to actually feel like a new member of the family. Yeah. So, and which is exactly what we want. We don't, we're, it's, nothing's going to replace Static. Static was our bathroom guardian and the 
bulldozer of kittens. <laughs> we'll tell that story at some point. Actually, you know what? Uh, probably around this time. Well, uh, so within this week, we'll, we'll have a video that actually is called the bulldozer of kittens. <laughs> story time. Until uh -oh. that story time and part three, we will see you then.